What's up, it's Cody, welcome back to the channel. So last night I was working on this track and I needed to lay down some bass guitar, but my bass has some old strings on it and it just wasn't sounding very good. So I picked up this plugin from Submission Audio called Punk Bass and it sounds so awesome. So I thought I'd do a quick review and little tutorial on it and let you know my thoughts and just show you quickly how to use it because it's really great. So let me show you what I came up with last night for this part of the song and uh, yeah, I'll just show you what it's all about. At first listen, I'm so pleased with the sound that I end up getting out of it. Let me just solo it quick for you. Now that sounds like a P bass to me. If you look at the layout of this plugin here, it's got um, the P bass on it, and actually it kind of looks like like a Blink-182 album cover. So it definitely has that Mark Hoppus bass tone. Now I actually got the Mark Hoppus bass and it's the exact same one that's in the photo. It's got his name on it and stuff, I taped on mine. I record most of my tracks with this bass, not all of them of course, but it's just, it's so versatile, especially for this style of music and like more punk stuff or even a lot of pop stuff. It just sounds so good. It's super bright, super crisp. And this plugin models this bass so, so well. I'm so pleased with it. So let me jump into some of the settings of it and show you some of the sounds that you can get out of it. So as you can see, I got a ton of plugins on here, but let me just mute them and just show you the bass DI on its own. So right out of the box, this is what it sounds like. All right, so that's just the DI setting. Now, if you turn on the amp, this is the first channel called First Bass. And then there's a distorted channel called Teen Fuzz. So I really like all of them. I think they sound great on their own. Uh, what I ended up doing for this particular song, I was trying to trying to match a bass tone, is I used this plugin. Um, it just basically this like sans amp modeler. I love how it sounds. I'm pretty sure it's a free plugin. Um, I'll check it out, and if it is, I'll link it down below so that you can pick it up because I I absolutely love this bass plugin. It just sounds so good on everything. Check it out. I use it on almost all of my bass DIs. It just helps bring out so much of that low end and, and really gives it the body and a bit of that drive that you want too. So I love it. I did a little bit of EQ on here as well, just to bring out some more low end and a little bit of that, that attack. And then I just have a side chain to the kick, but the kick's not playing right now, so you're not even hearing that. I'll leave it bypassed for now. So when it comes to the actual plugin itself, there isn't a whole lot. You can obviously change the volume. There's a width control to give you that kind of chorusy spread on it, but I'm using it in mono. I just want an, a straight bass guitar, nothing too crazy. But where it gets really fun is when you're building the individual MIDI itself. So let me show you that. If you click on this key switch info, it shows this cool little skateboard, which I just love. They really go for like that, that punk look, that like skater aesthetic, and I, I just, I think it's so cool what they've done with this. So if you see, here's all the different notes you can use to do picking, hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, and then, and then mutes, dead like uh, chicka chickas as I like to call them. So checking out the MIDI editor here, this is what we're working with. What I find really helps to get a natural sounding bass tone with this plugin is by alternating your volumes. And by doing that, it just kind of gives you a more, more natural strum sound, always like the, the downbeats are gonna be a little harder hit. And so I just went through and kind of did that here, but you really don't have to be too particular with how you're doing it. I find that it sounds pretty good if you just kind of copy and paste once you've done one or two lines of the song. It, it, really, it really sounds so good. So where this plugin gets really fun is you can make it sound just like a real bass guitar with all the slides and the mutes and the hammer-ons and pull-offs. So I think this part relative to the song would be really cool if there was a big bass slide going down here. So let's try to program that in. So that's my note. But we don't want it picked, we want it to be a slide. 
So right here, uh, let's do a slide down slow, D sharp two. Now what's really cool is you can see right here, it'll show you what the active key switch is. So if we just slide it up, it'll show us when we hit our slide down slow. So let's use that. I mean, that sounds pretty dang good. Maybe it's a little too long. We could shorten it down a bit. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty natural to me. Let's hear it in context of the song. Yeah, I absolutely love that. I think that sounds so wicked. Um, but you could do it the opposite too. You could do, uh, you could do a slide up. Let's bring it down the octave here. And change that to, where is it? Slide up slow. Nice, soloed. Did I do slow? That sounded a little funny. Yeah, that is slow. Let's get a lower note. Not bad, maybe we need the faster slide. Oh yeah, and then we've shortened that up a bit. And let's make sure we do keep it in the key of the song. Oh yeah, that's cool. That sounds great. Now there are some cool other things that you can do with this. It has really great sounding dead notes, um, mutes. There's a dead mute and a harmonic mute. Let me show you a couple of those quick. So we've got to take these to the mutes. So let's do a dead mute here first. A little hard to hear. Okay, so the dead mute. I'm not too nuts about how that sounds. Kind of, kind of weak. Let's see the harmonic mutes. Oh yeah, that sounds way better. It's crazy, the harmonics and the, the string noise, the buzz of the strings. This, this plugin is so great. It really sounds just like the bass guitar that they have pictured. It is, it's your classic P bass sound, and I'm such a fan of the P bass. I think it has such, a, such an awesome sound. One thing I really like about this, opposed to a real recorded bass, is not only is your tuning gonna be perfect every time, it's always so hard to get your bass guitar perfectly in tune. I actually end up using Melodyne on a recorded bass most of the time, just to get it locked in perfect. Um, but the, the consistency between the highs and the lows and and, and just the frequency spectrum in general is so consistent. The low end is, is really held together and intact, and that can be a problem with a lot of bass guitars. Sometimes they'll be boomy when you're playing one note, but even if it is a little boomy, it's so easy to just go in and select that note, and you can either just raise it up or down. So I really like this plugin. It sounds so great. I'm, I'm a big fan, it's winning me over. Now one other thing that's really cool in here is it has string noise, two octaves of string noise from F4 to F6. So let's, let's go see what that sounds like really quick. Let's see, where's my F4? Oh cool, so that's just sliding up and down the neck of the bass. I really like how that sounds. So what if we added that on all of our chord changes? Maybe slightly off time. Make it loud. Not overly audible. Oh wow, yeah, I heard that one. Holy, that sounds just like a real bass guitar. I'm, I'm so blown away with how great this plugin sounds. I seriously, like, I, I just picked it up last night and I used it a bit, but I was in a, I was in a bit of a crunch and I didn't really get too deep into it. I got a good sounding bass tone and just kind of went with it, but. The things you can do with this is absolutely unbelievable. Oh, that's a big one. This is fun, I can play with this all day. Kind of sound like a DJ.
Hmm. Not all of them seem to work very well. I guess you got to find the ones that would fit the actual movement of the bass, but that just takes a little bit of figuring out. And then once you know you're going all the way down on the bass guitar, there's some really long ones and just some short little slides. And I really think that that helps it sound so much more like a real bass guitar. You don't really notice in the context of the whole mix, but maybe if there was a verse in the song where you did have the bass going and it was just bass drums and vocals and that bass was really loud, it would be really cool to have this in there and just make it really sound like a, a, a true performance of a bass guitar because every time you record bass, especially if you got those fresh strings, which you should, if you don't, you should use this. <laughs> But yeah, if you, if you are recording bass, you're gonna get that buzz and that's just, that's a part of recording instruments is all the noise and the, the playability of it, right? So this plugin does such a good job of, of really just making it sound like a, a good bass guitar. I did notice when I first opened it up, it, it did sound fake when I just had them all, all the velocities of all the MIDI notes the same. So just by moving them around a little bit and, and adding little things like, like these string noises and stuff, you can really make it sound like a true bass performance, but completely in tune. That is the only thing that does not sound authentic. Another really cool feature I found on this is it has the alternate picking features. Let me just toggle through those quick. Okay, so I'm not noticing a huge difference in the sound there, but it does sound like when I'm on the eighths, that's when you'd be up and down. Whereas when you go to sixteenths, it's more dot 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 all downstrokes. Um, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not totally sure what that's doing. It's it's not making a huge difference by my ears. Maybe it's just just the song or how I have it programmed. We're doing all eighth notes here anyway, so maybe the alternate picking isn't coming through. Um, and then this tone knob, I actually just noticed it. I didn't even look at it before. Let's play around with that quick. Uh, let me just bypass all my other plugins again so we can just hear the raw bass tone. Okay, so it kind of sounds like it's just either boosting or cutting that like 1,000 to 2,000 uh, hertz range, like that that 1.6 or 1.3 that you really hear in the bass guitar. So it sounds like you're just getting a little boost of it or a little cut. So either just brighter or darker. I, I really like that. That's a cool feature, and it only lets you go 3 dB, so you can't absolutely obliterate your bass tone. That's that's really wicked. So my overall review of this plugin is it is absolutely fantastic. I paid $90 American for it. And honestly, it would have cost me $40 to restring my bass anyways. So, I mean, you, you use this on a couple tracks and you're already saving yourself money. And it's, it's so easy to use. I was amazed. I picked it up and within 15 minutes, I had good sounding bass on my track. There's really not a steep learning curve to it. It's pretty simple and it, it sounds really good. More, more importantly than how easy it is to use is it just it sounds great. Um, I'm so excited to continue using this. I'm gonna use it on all my demos. I find my bass, bass guitars, you really do have to restring every, every couple days when you're tracking, when you're tracking hard at least, because you, you want that bright, crispy, at least I want that bright, crispy tone on a bass guitar. And this, this makes it so much easier. I do a lot of demoing and it, and it sucks having bad sounding bass. And this is so easy to use. And especially if you're working on the creative process of a song and you're changing keys and stuff, you're not fixed by anything. It's so easy to just jump in here and change MIDI notes really quick. So I really, really like it. I think I'm gonna continue to use this. Who knows, maybe, uh, maybe it's time to hang up the old bass and snip all the strings and just keep using this punk bass because I really, really like the way it sounds. I'll play you out the rest of the tune just so you can hear the bass tone once again. But really quickly, if you don't mind, just drop me a like down below. It really helps out my channel and helps this video get seen by many more people. So thank you so much in advance if you do that. All right, here we go.